Hey guys, welcome back to Rock and Roll Rugby. And uh, we know uh, the Springbok selection uh, choices has been quite uh, weird. Um, we've not really known what they've wanted to do with this whole fly-off issue they've had where they've decided to take four scrum-offs to the World Cup. And then at the same time, there is constantly talks with Jock, Jock Ninaba saying that you know, we'll, we'll probably have Andre Pollard fit for this World Cup, but he's not 100%, he's only 50%, all those kind of talks. But at the same time, they haven't picked him for the side. But then on the other side, he's saying there might be injuries. So um, it's almost like cryptic, you know, uh, clues being given by Jock Ninaba, and it's all kind of, you know, just a little bit uh, suspicious on what's going on here. We... We don't really know. It's almost like they, you know, we've got something up our sleeves, but we're telling you what we've got up our sleeves. So to me, yes, I understand if, you know, Jock and Russie's got some kind of, you know, trick or plan up their sleeves that they want to play at the World Cup and just surprise everyone and Andre Pollard suddenly in the team. But they kind of saying what they're doing. It's almost like a magician, like... I've got a trick to show, but I'm kind of going to tell you beforehand what I'm going to do. But anyway, before we go any further into this, um, JK was reacting to this, JK and Goldie on the um, the breakdown show. And this is what they had to say around Jock Ninaba's um, decision. But South Africa have released their squad. And it really is the curious case of the Springboks. 33 players and three major ones that have been left out of Jacques Nenebe's team. No Andre Pollard, no Lucanio Arm and no Lud Diaga. All three of these players are currently injured. But there's nine players named as standby players, which include Arm and Pollard, who will travel to England with the team, to Twickenham, Jeff. So we found out... Oh, you, you, you study, right? Like yeah, you're study. a bit of a... Well, study, I think this is important of, because we're going over yeah, the. But, uh, but I don't prepared. understand why you'd take nine people. Why wouldn't you? Like, why wouldn't you? If Pollard's going to recover, just name him in your side. But, so what they can do, and so just so you're aware that these squads aren't official squads until they arrive in France the week of the tournament. So, so why do you name them? So change. Well, I think it's so you are comfortable, so you can train as a squad, you can prepare. But they're still in a position where things can change. And the most interesting thing he said is. We believe that both will have the potential to be fit and ready to go by the Scotland game. That's talking about one. Andre Pollard and Lucano Arn. So The opening test. The opening game. So they're in recovery mode, but clearly he thinks they're going to be fit and available. I'm anticipating this squad's going to be very different when it arrives so in France. why don't you name them? If we've named Brodie Retallick, who is currently injured, why do you not name these two? Is it, is it a game? Okay, hold on. I just want to get in there, guys. So... They're asking, is it a game? And um, I think you'd, you'd hear uh, JK, <laughs> you can see there he wants to laugh. Um, clearly, they do think that the Springboks are playing games in the coaching staff. Now, there, for me, there's two ways to look at it. The one way is to say, okay, yes, maybe um, they are saying, okay, you know, we are kind of playing games and that's why we keep holding back our cards with Andre. But then, at the same time, telling everyone, no, we, we're probably going to play Andre. That is the one suspicion to me that it's just them wanting to be mysterious. But I think for me, on the other side, when I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm asking the question that maybe, you know, they discussed it and said, okay, hold on. But let's not name Andre Pollard, but take him with to the, uh, to the warm-up games because then they have more opportunities of more taking more players there and if someone gets injured then um you know they've they've trained more guys so say for instance what they are saying yeah and i hear what jk is saying is like if you're going to play the guy why not call him your squad but just remember you're only really taking 33 guys in that squad so may they probably am trying to maximize the amount of players they're trying to take to this world cup and give them as much training time before the World Cup and, and exposure before the World Cup because they know they need to. That's the only reason I can think that they would be doing this. Otherwise, it just makes no sense to me that they didn't just from the start say, Pollard's in the squad of 53, and there's a big possibility if he's 50% ready right now, by the World Cup, we'll probably be able to play him in the latter stages maybe or even 
in the first second game who knows but let's hear what else they had to say there's a huge huge guy for them i believe yeah. i don't think they're the same rugby team without him and i think that they're kind of the same yeah i think he's the same exactly World class players i think they're both players but i think probably because of the, his position right mm. Mm. i think for me um you would wait as long as you can the same with Tritella, outstanding, you know, you wait for those guys. They've been around long enough, they can come straight back into it. So. Mm. Now guys, let me just say, they say he's going to be in the squad, but something they have to remember is someone's got to get injured. So doesn't the Springboks put themselves at risk by going and, and deciding to kind of not pick him from the start? Um, but with that said, is what I've heard is that they only have to finalize their squad when they put their foot on on French swell and just before the first game so they can easily still change the squad it's it's not set in stone so you got to think it's either games or what is the reason because my only opinion could be that it is that that maximizes the amount of players they can take so they take him as an extra warm up uh, player on the bench uh, for the warm up games but that means they can maximize their squad by announcing 33 players but still having all these extra players go with to even create more depth and to give themselves more time up to the World Cup to make final decisions on who should play. There's no one that can kick like Andre Pollard. You need him there. He's got like over an 80% success rate with kicking. There's no one in the squad that can do what he does when it comes to place kicking. And apart from that, the, the big match temperament, the BMT that he brings, just generally his type of gameplay, understanding Springbok rugby that well, and his tactical kicking, which is an important part, which I think the Springboks are lacking at the moment. Marnie Lubbock is a real front foot type, type um, fly half. Even, uh, you know, uh, Willem says a, a, a front foot type fly off, which is not always what you need you sometimes need that kind of fly off it can sit back back a bit you know control the game uh, do some tactical kicking and that's why they do need Andre Pollard in this team but then they, you know again like what what are what are we doing are we playing some kind of game we secretively talking but no one should hear this and I'm like <laughs> guys come on let, let's just focus on the rugby it, it's 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 just a little bit silly I don't know but anyway check us out I think there's lots of rumors flying out about Listen. the squad and about the injured players and we got this plot that we take four nines and we're gonna get Andre in and stuff like that and I think I think one must start and explain it and we'll maybe take some time if, if there's no injuries guys they will this whole 33 will come back and and the thing about Andre Andre is currently not injured but under, uh, uh, in terms of his <laughs> <laughs> you just hear that Jock had to just correct himself Andre at the moment is not injured <laughs> so um, yeah I, I think Andre is no longer injured he just literally need to get him up to match fitness which they say is well on his way so um, yeah two sessions but so he is still on his way back uh, how can I put it? And I, I tried to explain it the other day. Over the six years, and I don't want to get too scientific. My He's just explaining the long way of being fit for uh, the World Cup, the tests they do. But it's six meters per second. How many accelerations and decelerations he needs to perform? I hear you. To get him ready to perform physically on Saturday. Hundred percent. So he needs time. Okay. He is still in the process of recovering from the injury. Then, if he's recovered from the injury, then he'll go into okay, return to play. Andre is recovered from the injury. So the fact is, Andre is ready. He's just not totally match fit. So they they pretty much just putting him through all the tests. To make sure they do not injure him again. I get that. But he's ready. He is ready. The difference is. Lukanyo Ama is not ready. Luerte Yaga is not ready. They are still suffering from the injury. I mean this is a calf injury. It's been 8 weeks or something. He's ready. So the fact is. They just didn't call him in the squad. Because I think they want to try and keep. They 33 man squad plus take all the extra guys. Currently operating at about 25, 30, maybe 50% at most. Okay, so we we've, we've got him up to 50% already, maybe 50%. So look, 
it's sounding pretty good when you hear 50 percent i mean he's there he's there and there around about so why not call him in the squad and say well uh, we won't be playing him the next game we'll probably play him the game against all blacks or we're only going to start playing him a second half against scotland instead of saying no we we, we didn't pick him in the squad and he, you know he's not part of the squad it's it's just is it mind games? I don't know what's the point of the mind games when you tell everyone that you're actually taking him with. And isn't it strange, this whole press? It's not a press conference. He's just sitting with a bunch of guys and it's almost like he's secretively talking to them, which is kind of weird. We probably will lose. I'm sure. I'm sure. He just said, I'm sure. We normally lose a play or two. I'm sorry, Jock. Ninaba is not a good liar. <laughs> got injured in the final. He'll say, don't say I'm a liar. I'm not. It's just. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop it there because, I mean, obviously, he's trying to just justify what he's saying. But for me, he's pretty much saying, no, we not, haven't finalized the squad. This is not the final squad. The possibilities of injuries in the next two warm up games before the 21st of August. Well, I don't know if it's between the 21st of August. And I think this is what's weird about the way that the Springboks talk. The Springboks talk like they have so many games left, but they don't. They literally only have the game against Wales. Then it's all past the 21st of August, so they've got to submit their final squad. And then they have the All Blacks. Now, yes, uh, granted, if they get any injuries, they can still pull up people people so yes i hear the fact is then what jock ninaba is pretty much saying is pollard's not ready but the possibilities we're going to pull him pull him into the squad is, is is pretty big so you know why they're not naming him in your squad initially well i think it all comes down to just depth the more guys they can take to this world cup to go train there be part of the warm-up games be part of the the whole setup the better for them because say then they send them back they've had, had extra time with these guys to be able to train with the side and then when they eventually have to call them up the guys have had good training time with the spring box so I'm, I, I think I know what this is and I don't know if it's mind games I think it's more the spring box looking to get the maximum out of all their players to give them as much time with the squad as possible I might be wrong Tell me what you think, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.